So I'm kind of sort of losing my voice, so I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. First and foremost, I wanted to say that I will have a DIY up this week for you guys. So if you're excited about that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I know I haven't been posting like that frequently or that many DIYs lately, and it's just because I was working on a super secret project that I can't really talk to you guys about now. You guys will see it in about three weeks. But yeah, I didn't want anyone to think that I was like just uploading hauls or just gonna do sit down videos from now on. I just really didn't have the time to put up anything else. All my friends were graduating and having birthdays all around the same time. And like I said, I was working on a really big project outside of YouTube that you guys will see soon and I'm super excited to share with you guys. But yeah, just kinda wanted to throw that out there because I didn't really get a chance to mention it anywhere and I really couldn't tell you guys what I was doing because it's super top secret. So a lot of people just assume that I had stopped making DIY videos and things like that. That is not true. And like I said, I will have a DIY up this week and I hope you guys really enjoy it because it's super cute and I'm so excited to upload it. So yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it and talk about the products that I'm using on my hair. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, then you know that in the beginning of YouTube, I used to kind of dye my hair all the time. So my hair basically just caught up with all of that and it was really damaged. So I did kind of chop all my hair off about two months ago. And if you guys follow me, you know I chopped it to about here. It was shoulder length and now it's already medium length which is crazy because the other day someone's like, no, your hair is definitely like medium length. And I was like, I guess I didn't realize that it grew so fast. So I'm just gonna share with you some of the products that I've been using and just things that I think have really been helping keep my hair healthy. So if you've seen any of my other hair videos, then you know that I really like to take some sort of hair vitamin or hair supplement just to help my hair like grow stronger. But not only that, it just helps it grow a lot faster. And I find to be someone who really benefits from different hair vitamins. And for the past 30 days, I've been taking these uh, hair affinity dietary supplements. A few other people here on YouTube recommended them, and I thought I would give them a try. And honestly, as you can tell, I mean, I remember when I chopped my hair off to my shoulders and I was literally freaking out for a while. I liked it in the beginning, but then I was like, why did I do that? It's going to take my hair such a long time to grow back. And honestly, with these pills, I have seen a tremendous difference in my hair, and I really think they work really great. I haven't experience any really problems with them. Just make sure that when you take them you're drinking a lot of water and things like that. And I also recommend these for people with long hair because I even took some sort of hair vitamin when my hair was long because this also improves like the radiance of your hair and it makes it naturally shiny. It also helps strengthen the hair so if you're someone like me I use a lot of heat on my hair which is really bad for it but this is something that really helps like combat any of that damage that you're getting. So I'll have hair affinity linked down below. They have a ton of different uh, before and after pictures that you can check out and see just like the differences and then I'll insert my Instagram picture here of when I cut my hair just so you can see how much it truly has like grown. I definitely need to get it trimmed again but the ends are pretty bad just because the damaged hair is finally reaching the end so I do need to get trims quite frequently just so my ends aren't like super dead and look really bad but this has definitely been helping my hair grow a lot recently and I would definitely recommend it to anyone. So. Moving on, my shampoo and conditioner that I'm using right now, these are new apparently, and these are the Organics Quenched Sea Mineral Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, these are for damaged hair, and these are basically sulfate free. I really try and use a sulfate free conditioner and shampoo on my hair just because I find that it keeps my hair a lot healthier and it's just better for your hair in general. So these are what I've been using. They're from the drugstore, so they're also relatively affordable. And yeah, I really, really like them and they smell great. Next, as far as a hair mask, I switched over to this Chi Nourish Intense. I was using the macadamia oil one, but it was making my hair really oily. I think my hair just got used to it. I always have to kind of switch up the products that I'm using on my hair because that happens to me a lot. So yeah, I've been using the Chi Nourish Intense. This is a silk hair mask and I really like it. It's for dry and damaged hair. I think it really hydrates my hair and my hair definitely looks a lot better when like I use this and then like I leave it in for a while and then I notice that once my hair is straightened or I do it after that, it looks a lot better than on the days that I don't use this. So I use this once or twice a week. You really shouldn't use it more than that because your hair will get oily. You don't need to put a, a hair mask in your hair every day. But I definitely recommend this. It's $20 online, but if you can find this at Marshalls, it's only $9.99. Another thing that I've been loving for my hair that you can also find at Marshalls is this Batiste Dry Shampoo. 
And this one is in the floral and flirty blush scent. They have different like scents and things like that. They do also have one formulated especially for brown hair, but I don't really see that much of a problem. It does go on white, but once you like rub it in your hair, it's completely fine. And I really, really like these. They're pretty inexpensive. This was like $4.99 at Marshalls. And I think that if you buy them regular price at Urban Outfitters, they're like $8. So, relatively affordable, and I think they're a really great uh, dry shampoo. Next are these two hair treatments. These are just like my top two holy grail hair treatments that I always go back to. I love them. I've been using them for years now, and I think they're great. So the first one is this It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. It does 10 different things for the hair, but honestly, it's like everything you would need for your hair in one. It's a heat protectant. It repairs dry damaged hair, reduces frizz, adds shine, detangles. This is basically like everything you need in one bottle. It is pretty pricey, but if you factor in the fact that you don't need to get like a frizz spray, you don't need a detangler, you don't need a heat protectant, you can just buy this product. It's so worth it. And yeah, I have nothing bad to say about it. It's great. And then the next one is this Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Treatment. And I really like this. It just kind of helps with hair breakage. You know, like when you're like blow drying your hair and you notice like a lot of the hair breaks off or your hair isn't like that strong. This helps just kind of repair your ends and things like that. And I really, really like this. It smells really good and I've been using it for a while, like on and off. I'll always forget about it, but it truly is a really, really great product. It does have protein in it, so you have to be careful. You can't use it like every single day, but I definitely think that this really helped my hair a lot as far as like the breakage goes, because I was experiencing a lot of breakage a few months ago and this really helped with that. So yeah, those are all of the actual like products that I've really been loving for my hair. And then recently I did get a Brazilian blowout. A lot of you uh, noticed on a couple of my Instagram pictures, you're like, oh, your hair looks really good. It's nice and shiny. So yeah, I did get a Brazilian blowout and I went to Escape Salon in Pasadena. I will have the number um, if you want to get your hair done there. But basically what a Brazilian blowout does is basically reduces like the frizz and it kind of like reconstructs your hair. It's obviously it's not for everyone so I would definitely do your research and look it up and see if it's something that you would want to do for your hair but it also reduces like styling time so I can straighten my hair pretty quickly now which is great because I am trying to not put as much heat on my hair and yeah when you have curly hair it gets like super frizzy so I like that it helped with my frizz a lot and I just think that my hair is like shinier and I can like straighten it in five minutes so that is great. I will have the products listed in the description box down below as well as any links to them if I can find them at a good